Frameface is software used to uh, draw crop boxes on uh, several images, could be hundreds of images, uh, images in a large batch that need to be then exported for, say, yearbook photos or website design uh, or passport photos. So let's say you've taken a, a whole series of photos one day and then the next day you need to process them. And of course, process, processing them one by one is difficult and time consuming. The goal of Frame of Face is to make that quicker for you. And in this new version of Frame of Face, we're gonna show how we've made those processes even faster. So let's just take a general look at Frame of Face first, and then there'll be a second video that you can take a look at as far as some of the advanced features using presets and templates, uh, or actually modifying the presets and templates to customize Frame of Face for your specific workflow. For now, Frame of Face, what it does is you load the images into Frame of Face. So here I'm just going to select several images from a large batch of photos that we took. And then Frame of Face goes through and locates the face and it tries to apply a, a, a crop across all of these images. And now what we've added in this version of Frame of Face are these very powerful presets where uh, you can select a preset, let's just select this one, ID photo, that's got very specific parameters, and you'll see how it just adjusted every one of these images to match those specifications. Now, as always with frame of face, if you have somebody who was, you know, standing a little bit off to the side and, and the, the face doesn't quite fit, you can come over here, tap on this face, move this over, you'll see that it uh, this wording custom crop popped up over here in yellow. And what that means is that this specific face has been manually adjusted, but now you'll see it matches much better with all the rest of the faces in uh, our export here or our potential export. And by the way, you can see this little T line up here. We call that a, a, a T guide. You can actually change the distance that that T guide is from the top of the uh, screen. So let's go back there and in this case, you know, I want that T guide down right about there so that I can make this uniform across everybody's um, image. In the past, from here, we would just export the images. We'll go through and do that. Um, I'm gonna go into an exports folder here. Let's make a new export folder. We'll just call it export A. And when you tap select, frame of face will go through and uh, export all of those images into that folder. So let's take a look at the export that we created this folder, and you'll see how fast it went through and created uh, all of the uh, files that we needed uh, for whatever project we're working on. If it's a website that we want all of these to look uniform, if it's a, um, you know, passport photos that have very specific uh, requirements for height and width and, and overall size, positioning of the head. Frame of face is, uh, makes any of those jobs very quick. And as you can see, you can export to this folder and you've got all these images then to work with, uh, with whatever software you're going to use to print the passport photos or design your yearbook.